Well, most of Bulgaria's old guard have retired now, but 35-year-old Krasimir Balakov is still plugging away in midfield as the team's captain. The support act is much younger these days with the likes of Stylian Petrov, Pedrak Parzin and Georgi Ivanov, the emerging names. Uh, Zravko, Zravkov is still keeping goal, 31 years of age now, and if ever Bulgaria need his steady influence, it's tonight here in Sparta Prague Stadium. So Bulgaria will play in their white shirts and green shorts. The Czech Republic are at full strength, and they feel a very competent-looking side as well. In Thomas Repka, Yeri Novotny and Marek Jankolovsky, you've got three top-class defenders. In midfield, the trio of Pavel Nedved, Karol Poborski and Tomas Brozicki would fully stretch most opposition in the international football world. And up front, it's Lokvents and Baros, a new but promising combination in attack. Well, Claude Colombo is this evening's referee with his team from France. And it is a battle to the death here at the Sparta Stadium in Prague between two nations in the second tier, really, of European football's hierarchy. Both at various times have enjoyed some time in the limelight and both are in search of more of that here tonight. Equal on points. Czech Republic ahead fractionally by just one goal on goal difference. A draw enough for the home side to qualify directly for the World Cup. Bulgaria must win here. Sounds very straightforward for me to say that, but the task against this very talented Czech Republic team is quite ominous for Bulgaria. In their first meeting in Sofia, the Czech Republic won by a goal to nil. Poborski scored a penalty that day. Balakov. Pavel Nedved will operate on the left-hand side of the Czech Republic midfield as he does for his club, his new club, Juventus. Bulgaria coming at the task very eagerly and enthusiastically, as you would expect in the opening minutes. But the roar goes up as the Czech Republic stop the attack and the whistle has gone well just for a moment there i thought that the number 11 milan Baros had got away with that he's only 19 years of age he's a young player this is just his sixth international game part of the new look and the new breed of czech republic footballers just a fraction too physical with the challenge there on ivanov that's bisa ivanov Vince is the big number nine, chasing hard here. Medved. Czech Republic getting on with the game quickly themselves. That's a great throw, good pullback. An opening goal for Czech Republic. After just five minutes, Thomas Rozicki has put the home team ahead. Well, straight away, the hurdle looks a little bit higher now for Bulgaria. A good slick attack down the left. Nedviet involved also there was Milan Bados with the cross and Thomas Rozicki. This great talent with a goal that could be very important indeed. It's his first international goal. And it's the first goal tonight for the Czech Republic. Bulgaria now have at least two goals to find from somewhere. Just running out of room on the edge of the area there was Ivanov. Balakov trying to take charge in the centre there, and that's a slick pass, just a little bit too slick for Georgi Ivanov. Three World Cup goals so far for Georgi Ivanov. Nedved, oh, good save. Well, Zravko, Zravkov is the keeper for Bulgaria. T 
time now for Titze, who just plays it forward for Lockvents, who's fouled. Radislav Lockvents playing his 43rd international. He's got Milan Barros alongside him, as I mentioned, just 19 years of age. So they've done quite well together. Certainly started very well here. And goal for Czech Republic. A familiar face, perhaps, if you're followers of English football and Italian football. That's Pavel Cernicek, who now plays with Brescia, though he has struggled to get a first team spot in the Brescia lineup. There was some concerns whether he would make the Czech Republic team here because of his lack of first team action there. Milan Barros is a very talented young player. He's one of just three players still applying their trade in Czech Republic. And a foul against Thomas Rosicki on the edge of the area. Rosicki is a fixture with Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga. He was just clattered into there with a quite clumsy challenge by Todd Oyanchev. So an important part of the game for Bulgaria if they were to go two down. You suspect that it would be a hurdle just too high to climb to come back. And Nedved is over the ball to make way. And that's a clever ball. That is an outstanding goal from Pavel Nedved. And another nail goes in the Bulgarian coffin with that goal. They must now find three here. Oh, that is absolutely centimetre perfect from Pavel Nedved. Well, he's not a player renowned for free kicks. That is until now. Probably because much of his club football was played at Lazio, where Sinitza Mihailovic really took centre stage in that department. But at Juventus now, I'd suggest he may get more of a run from the set piece. That was a marvellous goal. Only one of these two teams can possibly move further on in the tournament. The loser here is out for another four years. The winner is likely to go into a playoff. Okay, watch the free kick come in. That's a good save by Sunacek. That's a nice pullback and just making sure of the clearance was the number five, Yuri Novotny. top of the group it's Denmark two points clear of both of these two teams they're at home to Iceland tonight so the likelihood is that they will get the necessary points to qualify directly for the World Cup and the winner here more than likely to go into a playoff and the playoff will be against group six runner-up which will be Belgium I'm getting ahead of myself somewhat. This is Barros, Nedved. It's a very good opening by Czech Republic. Good cross! Well, somehow the goalkeeper stopped it. Well, oh, Barros is certainly a very mobile, enthusiastic player. As you can see already, he's bobbed up in all different parts of the attack for Czech Republic. Well, there's no problem with a foul on the goalkeeper there. Maybe a push on the defender was a decision by the referee. Oh, I can't see it anywhere, I must say. And Bulgaria came out of the blocks very brightly in the first couple of minutes, but Czech Republic have well and truly overwhelmed them in the back straight of this match. Long ball, that's 
a difficult one to control for Georgi Ivanov. Quite a few of this Bulgarian team still based in Sofia with several different clubs. And the whistle hasn't gone. And Milan Barros is coming away down the left-hand side. He's just shown a little bit too much to the defender. Barros, this will be a marvellous goal. Magnificent stuff from Milan Barros. And now surely Czech Republic will qualify directly for the World Cup. They're three up here against Bulgaria. Well, I thought the defender was close enough to get a touch there. But Barros just a little bit too strong. He did get a touch, in fact, but merely helped it on the way for this sprightly striker. Alert and bright, very fast. And as you can see, an eye for goal that is sure to catch the eye of some of the bigger clubs in Europe in the not-too-distant future. That's very nicely done indeed, and that's 3-0. Well, up off the bench, the coach of Czech Republic is Josef Chauvinets. And just while we were watching that replay, there was a foul on Karol Poborski. What a clumsy looking challenge as well from Pedro Parzin. So Czech Republic with the free kick. Not even at the half hour mark. And they have a 3 0 lead. This is beyond their hopes, I'm sure. Pulled in. And just over the bar, it will be a corner though. Came off a defender. That's what uh, Lockfence is saying, but the referee disagrees with both me and him. Quite clearly, though, the ball came off uh, as if Kozelev. Well, for Bulgaria, gone are so many of the names that. We really got to know in the 1990s. The likes of Fisto Stoichkov and Lubo Penev, Ivanov, Trifon Ivanov, that is, Jordan Lechkov. That roguish team full of characters which we really grew to enjoy their football. It's a different era now, and it's a different outcome as well, the way it's going here. That's a shocking tackle on Pavel Nedved. And another yellow card, not surprisingly. That's to Stylian Petrov, the Celtic midfielder. Well, that could quite easily have been a red card for Petrov there. So another chance for Czech Republic from the set piece. Didn't come... Too far away last time they tried a free kick from this part of the ground. Filled in once again. Dangerous ball this time. It's gathered by Zravkov. That's well won at the back and hacked away by the early substitute, Martin Hasek. Now three forward here for Czech Republic. Lokvens tries the shots and doesn't get the corner. Well, he plays for Kaiserslautern in the Bundesliga, Bratislav Lokvens. Only got one goal so far in the World Cup campaign. It's a lofted ball into the area, trying to aim for the height of Ivanov. Czech Republic prepared to defend patiently and they attack on the counter-attack with lightning speed as we're seeing here a lock fence done well with the cross well not cleared convincingly which has been the story of the night for the Bulgarian defense as lock fence fired in a shot from the angle 
tough angle, it must be said, but Zhravkov needed to make the save nonetheless. So three to go in the first half. Australia have played friendly internationals against both of these two teams in the last couple of years. In fact, six of the Bulgarian starting 11 here was in the team that played a one-all draw against Australia in Chile in early 2000. This is the 47th international game for Pavel Cernicek. As we move into the final couple of minutes of the first half, Algeria need a lift from somewhere. If it comes before the halftime break, more the better. No one there to chase onto that one. Says Yevotny. Number 10's there. That's nicely played by Thomas Wozicki. Here's Nedved in some space. It's a little ball aimed for Lockvens. Well, he pulls the pass, but he just slipped as he tried to change direction there. Well, what does it all mean? It's a game played on grass as well as on paper. That's a nice idea, but was offside anyway. Now, Bulgaria haven't really produced too much in attack in this first half. Offside on that occasion was uh, Dimitar Barbatov. Thomas Repka. He's had a fiery start to his career in England with a couple of red cards. Top quality defender, though. But there hasn't been much defending for Czech Republic to do in this first half here because they have been really enjoying themselves in attack with some lively and quite thrilling attacking moves. Three goals to show for it as well from Rozicki, Nedved and Barros. At halftime, Czech Republic 3, Bulgaria 0. Well, Pavel Nedved on the score sheet with Czech Republic's second goal in the first half. As I mentioned earlier, Denmark are at home to Iceland as well tonight. Surprisingly, though, Iceland have won four of their nine games so far. So there is a slight hint or chance of an upset there. If Iceland could provide some kind of upset and the Czech Republic go on to win this game, Czech Republic would win the group, but... That's not right. Bulgaria out of the equation just yet. Still got half a game to find something. Since uh, another goal for Czech Republic, and that would be it. And they're surging forward here. That's a fine run from the back by Grigera. Baros this time losing out to Parzin. And that's a foul in favour of Bulgaria. And both of these two teams have lost two games in their group matches so far. Czech Republic's losses were against Denmark and a shock 1-0 loss in Iceland. That's a good hit from Pavel Nedved. Well, he is really enjoying himself here tonight. He's still settling really into his time at Juventus. He's been solid rather than spectacular. And the match is so far in Serie A. It's going to stay in. And it's nicely played by Lokvens, but Neville, uh, Pavel Nedved rather, just lost his way somewhat. So where to here for Bulgarian football as we are just on the hour mark here in Prague. A trail by three goals to nil. They need four in the last half an hour.
Arepka. It's no nonsense defender with a rather tough streak in him as well. Now here comes Czech Republic coming forward. That's a nice bit of work. Well, blasting wide was Vladislav Lokvent. He hasn't had too much to really crow about tonight, but that was a well-worked move for himself. Still one to beat here. Earned himself a metre of space on the left foot. Plenty of goal to aim for. Well, the Bulgarian coach is uh, Stojko Mladenov, the former international. At least, uh, no matter what happens tonight, he's been offered an extension of his contract. It's very rare in international football, a rare piece of empathy from the Bulgarian FA. And here come Czech Republic, whipped across, easy goal. Lokvents finally gets on the score sheet. The big man in the middle, just towering above the Bulgarian defenders. Great work by Poborski. He played his part with the build-up and the cross, totally bamboozling the defender there. Time to look up and just pick out the big man in the middle. Very accurate and made to look very, very simple by Czech Republic, and that's 4-0. Well, there's no doubt about the outcome now. So Czech Republic will move to the next phase, whether it's a playoff or, in the unlikely case, it could be direct qualification. They've done their job here tonight, which was to beat Bulgaria. And Lokvins takes the plaudit to the crowd, and he takes a break as well, and it's Vladimir Smica coming on in his place. Vladimir Smitsa, who really sprung onto the international scene back in 1996 in Euro 96 in England. I saw him play an outstanding game at Anfield for Czech Republic against Russia in a 3 3 draw. And within a year or two, he'd signed for Liverpool. Poborski. Nedved. Smitsa moves inside. Nedved waiting for some options and he goes back instead. That's a nice pass. That's Smitsa working his way towards the area. On the volley. Well, it needed saving. May have snuck in the far post there. Well hit too by Martin Hasek. Smitsa picked him out. Awkward to hit. 4-0 up, why not have a go? I think that was what his thinking was. So Jankolowski will go across to take the corner. the back post at all well, that's not a great clearance at all back across the goal the shot comes in that is a ripper from Thomas Rosicki well he without a doubt is the most exciting prospect in Czech football at the moment his second goal of the game his second goal in international football. And that was hit quite beautifully. Terrible clearance there by a very tired-looking Bulgarian defence, but nothing tired-looking about the shot. That was hit so crisply. Like a young player who didn't even think to hesitate or stop the ball, he just lashed it home. So still 20 minutes remaining here. It's now Czech Republic 5, 
Bulgaria nil. Balakov expected to play such an important role in this game. He hasn't been seen, but he gets the free kick there, perhaps somewhat fortuitously. So Pavel Cernicek, who's had a very quiet evening all up, wants to do a bit of work. Five in the wall for Czech Republic. Perhaps a chance for Belikov to show what he can do. Well, he's curled it, and that was going right in the corner. Great accuracy, just not quite enough power to travel Pavel Sernicek. Just over 15 minutes remaining here in the Sparta Stadium. Czech Republic currently ranked 14th in the world. And on tonight's performance, you can see why. Bulgaria struggling uh, not too far away from Australia, actually, at number 48 in the world. That's a nice ball down the line. Is there going to be something for Bulgarian fans to cheer about tonight? A nice looking move. Good hit. Well, really, just lashed a goal there by the Bulgarian number 17, Martin Petrov. A hint of anger and frustration, perhaps, coming from Petrov there as he knows his World Cup dream is really in tatters now. Disappointment too, I'm sure, for Balakov and Zravkov, the two oldest players in the Bulgarian team. Uh, unlikely to get another crack at the World Cup. Certainly Balakov, perhaps Zravkov, who's just 31. For a goalkeeper, that's not too bad. Oh, more goals, perhaps. Nedbjerg! That's six of the very best for Czech Republic. A second goal for Pavel Nedved, but for a player of his calibre, look at the time, look at the space, but most of all, just look at the power. They just blasted it past the goalkeeper. Had all the time in the world to steady himself, and there was no chance there for the flailing hands of Zravko Zravkov. That's 6-0. Well, on this kind of form, you wonder how Czech Republic find themselves in a situation where they are not top of the group and where they're now going to go into a playoff. They've been quite outstanding tonight. More to come, perhaps. Look at this. When you've got a six-goal buffer, automatically you think you can just about do anything with the ball. Repka moving the ball on. Rosicki coming short. The home fans really enjoying this night. And the back heel there came from Yankolovsky getting forward. Smitzer returning the favour. The joy of football when you really are expressing yourself. Still 12 minutes remaining, perhaps there's time for more. Well, as Czechoslovakia, they qualified for the World Cup eight times throughout their history. They've never qualified as Czech Republic. A 
Bulgaria really after this. Must go back and look long and hard to the future. They've got the nucleus of a good young team here. A lot of time to ponder on another four years before the next World Cup qualifications. And Bulgaria gets something out of the game, not with that particular attack. Here come Czech Republic again. Helped on early to Milan Baros. Good defending, still attentive at the back is uh, Georgi Markov. Two to go here in Prague. Repka. All the way back to the goalkeeper, Cernicek. No pressure coming on here at the moment. They're going to really enjoy themselves tonight, I'm sure, the Czech Republic outfit. Before they go back to their clubs. This is Milan Baros. The next stage for Czech Republic now is to plan for the playoff. A home and away series against Belgium is the outcome of tonight's match. Belgium, another team not dissimilar to Bulgaria in that they have some players who are ready to hang up the boots internationally. This young, lively Czech team. Well, perhaps they'll have just a bit too much zip for the Belgians. We'll see. Just holding his ankle for the moment is Marek Jankolovsky. The pain will all be forgotten in just under a minute or so when the final whistle goes here. Bulgaria have been well and truly outclassed by this Czech Republic team. Novotny. Arsic lays it back. And there is the final whistle. And there is the next phase for Czech Republic football as they now move on to a playoff against Belgium. What an outstanding performance it was. And if they do make it to the finals in Japan and Korea next year, they will certainly do themselves proud with their style and flair about their game. Disappointment for Bulgaria, I'm sure, who must now go back and regroup and start all over again. They put on a fine show with two to Rozicki and two to Nedved, one to Barros and Lokvens. And it's finished Czech Republic 6, Bulgaria 0. An outstanding result by the Czechs, but it wasn't.